Hi, this is Bill Watkins. For the last several days, we've been in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 5. Today, I want to look specifically at verse 5, but let's read again in context, beginning at verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you, now here's verse 5, who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. I love this idea that you and I are kept How are we kept? We are kept and preserved by the power of God. God's power is so strong that there's no enemy stronger than him. There is no obstacle bigger than him. We are kept in him. Our God, who is greater than any nation, greater than any enemy, greater than any sin, is holding us. We are kept by the power of God through faith. How is it that I keep in the arms of God? I never stop believing in God. And when I do that, what happens? We will receive a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. There's a sense in which you and I are saved right now. We've been forgiven of sin. We've been given the promise of heaven. So in what sense is salvation ready to be revealed in the last time? What God has prepared for us is more than human imagination can possibly comprehend. As a result of that, it must only be experienced. Salvation can never be fully experienced because you and I can't even imagine how great it will be until we get there. What a great thing that will be when we finally get there. Don't miss it. Thanks for watching.